Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Um, I wanted to just listen to some classical music while I get ready for the day. Um, and I'm going to talk about makeup and hair, but also the music we're listening to. Um, so today's piece, um, I've chosen WC's Piano Trio in G Major. It's one of my favorite chamber pieces. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get started. Um, so I'm going to start with my brows. I just used Boy Brow by Glossier. Okay, I'm gonna do a concealer now. So this is ColourPop Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. It's the lightest shade, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm just gonna put that under my eyes. Hard thing about classical music, listening like casually is the dynamics. <laughs> it's always getting louder and softer. Um, I actually watched a YouTube video. I don't remember what it was, but it talked about how piano trios are actually really hard to write because it's hard to get the balance right between the three instruments. So if you're not an avid classical music listener, um, a piano trio has a piano, a cello, and a violin. And for some reason that's just really hard to balance in an ensemble. I think Debussy does it really well, um, particularly in this piece. I think Debussy's chamber music is really underrated. His, his piano pieces are beautiful. Um, but the pieces where he kind of... that sound a little less impressionist, I think actually sound a lot more emotional. And I'm a big fan. Also... The violinist in this recording is one of the reasons why it's one of my favorite recordings. Just hits every note. Very beautiful. I've been getting a lot of acne on my forehead lately, which is annoying, but it is what it is. I'm starting to go away. I've been putting a, a clay mask on it overnight, which is definitely too long to put it on, but I'm just so sick of these pimples. Um, so I'm gonna use Glossier Skin Tint, mostly just for my nose. I find that it sits the best on my nose um, for foundation and it just kind of covers the redness but it doesn't go overboard I pretty frequently also put it on my chin area and like I guess the whole mouth area. Mm -hmm. 
So now we kind of are starting to have a base. Um, and therefore, I'm gonna go ahead and set that all in place. Um, I use the Makeup Forever translucent loose powder. It's like the only loose powder I've ever had, so I don't know if I recommend it. It's, it's okay, it works. But I'm just putting that under my eyes. I don't really set anything else. Um, I'm not a fan of the matte finish, um, but my under eyes do crease. Um, I'm gonna do blush next. This is a MAC blush. It's in the color Desert Rose. And I'm using this Mary Kay brush. I hit that note again, oh my God. But um, I'm just putting it kind of all over my cheeks. I like to bring it up into my temple a little bit. And I use kind of a lot of blush these days. That's a pretty trendy thing to do, but I'm kind of enjoying it. I think it looks nice. And I'm gonna put a little on my nose too. I just love how dreamy this piece sounds. You can kind of sink into it. I think it's a perfect example of Debussy because even though it sounds less impressionist, it doesn't sound less dreamy. And I feel like impressionism and like that dreamy sound typically go in hand. So like, it's cool that Debussy can maintain the dreaminess. Um, without necessarily all the elements of Impressionism. So he did not consider himself to be an Impressionist composer. Um, he didn't like being called that, which is kind of funny because he's one of the like most well-known impressionist composers, but he would not be happy to know that. Um, so now I'm just going in with the Take Home the Bronze bronzer um, in the color Oliver. I think this came in like an Ipsy bag. I used to get those. Um, and I'm just going to apply that pretty high up. I honestly don't really put it in the cheek socket so much as like right above it. We're getting into the second movement now, which is actually probably one of my favorites. I love WC's utilization of pizzicato. Um, the plucking. He does it really well. He does it in his string quartet too, also in the second movement. I just think sometimes pizzicato can sound bad <laughs> and a little like cheesy and WC always does it really well. So you can probably see we're starting to get kind of a like flushed base. 
I spend the most time on my base now, probably. I think, honestly, it's the most important part, just trying to make my skin look nice and dewy and flushed and, uh, you know, not flawless, but just better. I really like the direction makeup has been going in, um, in terms of trends recently. The cute little, like, flushed nose and everything else being a little more natural, but also some, like, funky eyeliner. I'm a big fan. Getting my bronzer even is the toughest part about my makeup every day, I swear to God. <laughs> um, I usually move on to highlight now. And I use the Glossier, I'm a big Glossier fan, but the Glossier Haloscope, um, and this is in quartz. I don't know if that's, I think Moonstone is the lightest one. This one is supposedly a little bit pinky. Um, third movement. But I just put this on my cheekbones and kind of tap it in. I really like the dewy finish that this one gives. This melody is so pretty. Now I'm just putting some Becca highlighter on top of the Glossier one. I find that using a more like, it's not a liquid highlight, but it's like a creamier highlight, um, makes a powder highlight stick to it really nicely. And I really like the finish that I get with these two together. So this, this is the Becca one. It's in Pearl, which I think is the lightest highlight color. Um, I'm really pale, so that's, I think, one of the only reasons it works for me. Um, and I kind of try to blend the edges a little bit because the way that the highlight sticks to the, the cream highlight is, um, it kind of makes edges pretty visible sometimes. And I also put this on my nose, or I have been lately. Just the tip and kind of the edges there, and then I do a little, just a bit right there. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> um, and I'm also gonna, while we're at it, put this in my inner corners really quick. I'm not a big fan of eyeshadow on the daily. I do it for fun sometimes, but 
Lately, I've been doing more just eyeliner, mascara, and like the highlight on the inner corner. And that's what I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Eyeliner, which I used this years ago, and just now I'm coming back to it. Um, Cause it's pretty good and it comes off easy at the end of the day. And that's one of those things that I kind of need. I don't like spending a lot of time getting my makeup off. Um, but I'm just gonna make a little wing with this. I'm not sure if I can do it looking at my phone. I might need the actual mirror. And this is the fourth movement. Probably my favorite. And I love the way it just like moves. I feel like maybe it's just the performance that's really good, but I feel like it breathes, you know? So for my eyeliner, I'm gonna start in the corner here and bring it out, and then I'm gonna make a triangle. Like, isn't that beautiful? So, I really just kind of do a little triangle on the corner there. and I don't continue it in at all. So I'm just gonna do that on the other side real quick. I think it's pretty even, so I'm gonna leave it at that. This part is so cute. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I've had this curler for ages. It's a Sephora brand, I think. Um, and I'm gonna use the Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit. I get asked about what mascara I use pretty frequently, so this is why. That is why, beautiful. One of the things that I like the most about WC is this whole string quartet has had such a cohesive theme. This isn't a quartet. This whole string trio, piano trio, has had such a consistent like feel and vibe. And yet he's been exploring with different melodies every movement and bringing up new themes and things like that. Um, and he just does it so seamlessly. Okay, well it's lipstick time. And we've got just about a minute left of the piece, which is perfect. So I'm gonna take this lip liner. It's a NYX NYX 
liner in mauve. And I'm only gonna put this under my lip here. And I'm gonna outline my Cupid's bow. I love the intensity here. So now I've outlined that, and I'm going to put on a lipstick that I got for free, actually. It's a Kylie one. And the piece is over. Ah, there it is. Um, and as a last touch for the lipstick, I like to just take my loose powder again and this old beauty blender and I just dip it in and lightly press it onto the lips and it kind of locks it in place and gives it a very matte look. And it also helps if you overlined to make it look more natural. So that is all. Um, this is the final look. And thank you for listening to one of my favorite pieces of classical music with me. Um, let me know if this is something you enjoy um, and would like to see again. And... I definitely will be doing it again because it was kind of fun. So I will see you next time.